Hello everyone and welcome back to Missouri Grown Carolina Home. I'm Katie if you are new here and thank you so much for stopping by. I have another weekly grocery haul for you. I don't think I did one last week. I can't remember. Maybe I did. But if I didn't, it was because of Thanksgiving and you know how things get crazy around the holidays. You are going to be seeing this after Thanksgiving. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed your holiday. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to show you my Walmart pickup. We went to a different Walmart this week. Um, and it, 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 it went alright, I guess. We did get some substitutes. They were out of a lot of things. So I spent $153. So we'll go ahead and just start with like non-food items. Callie needed some more bathroom cups, so I got her that. I've been trying to find a good wood floor cleaner. So I'm going to try this. It says it cleans, cares, and restores. We have hardwood floors throughout the house. And i got to be honest, I hate them. I've always, growing up, thought I want hardwood floors in my house. Now I'm like, can we just carpet this whole house? <laughs> and I honestly, like, as much as I say that, I know I'll hate carpet too. But, I don't know. Our, I don't know how old our house is. But I'm assuming that the wood floors are not sealed anymore. So we probably one day day need to do that but up until then I gotta try and figure out how to get these floors clean so hopefully this will help I've been using like Mr. Clean and stuff it just doesn't do anything so hopefully this will work I got two um scrub brushes I ordered two of these but they probably didn't have two so they gave me this one and as a substitute I am assuming they didn't say they did that but that's okay I'm sure it'll work it's just to wash my dishes I got some more paper plates. I, if you watch my channel a lot, you know I get paper plates like every week. They've really cheapened these. These are like extremely thin. Like almost Dollar Tree quality. And you're paying more than Dollar Tree prices. So I'm kind of disappointed in that. But that's okay. It, it saves me from having to wash. No, it doesn't. I wash dishes all day long. But anyways, there's that. I also got these Merry Christmas plates for Christmas Eve. I, you probably hear Silas in the background. He's talking up a storm. But I'm um, sorry about that. Well, I mean, I'm not really sorry because I'm glad he's talking and not screaming. <laughs> so anyways, I got these Christmas plates for Christmas Eve. We do appetizer night. So I thought this would be a good size plate for all the appetizers we're going to have. Um... I got some parchment paper and quart size bags. I actually forgot I ordered these at Walmart and I ended up getting them at Aldi too. So there's that. Got some more of these. I I don't know. These work. Um, in our bathroom, I don't know why, but it gets this weird gunky black stuff. Like I could clean it and then the next day it's filled with this. I don't know if it's the water. I don't know what it is. But when I have these in here, it completely makes that. Not necessarily go away completely, but it makes it so much better. And it, it these work. So if you need a toilet bowl cleaner that works in between cleanings, here you go. Um, I think that's it for non-food stuff. I'm going to see if Silas needs some help real quick and be right back. He got his milk stuck in the... Um, baby gate <laughs> so that's what his fuss was about let me say this real quick while she's not in here I got this to do some is going to go into gift baskets others is for um stockings so if you can hear me I'm trying to whisper but she probably heard me anyway so I told her how Santa help lets asks me to help fill up the stockings with some treats while he does the actual gifts so I don't know. Anyways, I have been on a huge peppermint kick lately. Like, I want peppermint everything. Peppermint ice cream, peppermint hot cocoa. I thought I was getting a pack of two. At least two. I got one. I'm like, are you kidding me? I paid over a dollar for this thing. Better be good. I don't know. I feel like, okay, maybe it's just me. But if you have the Walmart app and you shop on the Walmart app, do the pictures look deceiving? Because I got this peppermint thing too, these peppermint marshmallows. And I thought it was going to be like a small little pack of these. 
I don't remember how much I ordered or how much it was. It's two. Like, that's one treat. <laughs> I already told Callie I'd share one with her. But, see, it's peppermint bark. It's two. I thought I was getting, like, a little pack. I didn't expect a big pack of marshmallows. I didn't expect that. But I expected more than two, and I expected more than one of these. So, and then this tiny thing, peppermint. Told you I was going crazy with it. But this was a dollar. Still think that should have been like 50 cents, but that's just me. I I don't know. I'm not going to say that the prices are going crazy because we all know that they are. But it's not even the price. It was the quali quantity that I was expecting a little bit more. But that's... I'm not trying to complain. I have... Um, a crock pot recipe, cheesy chicken recipe that I'm going to be making this week. And I needed some egg noodles for that. And some ground beef. I have um, sloppy joe mix that I need to make. I want to try and make it and see if the twins will eat it. Probably not. And I also have tacos on the menu one night. So I do have another one in the freezer. So I'm going to see if they'll eat one of those too. Um, back over here, Brian... Loves always. We always have to have tea in the house. He drinks a lot of tea. So, well, not really. He drinks a cup a day, but we make it like once or twice a week. So, anyway, it's good. I got these to put back until um, Christmas Eve. So this is one thing we're gonna have on Christmas Eve. Um, this was a substitute. I ordered a Jack's pizza. They didn't have it, so they gave me this thin crust um, cheese, great value one. That's fine. Callie asked for a turkey lunchable, so I went ahead and did that. On Thanksgiving, I was in charge of making the ranch dip. Well, my ranch powder, had I haven't used it in so long that I didn't know, but I don't know if it expired or what, but it seized up on me, and Brian had to run out and get me ranch powder. So, would it be Thanksgiving if you didn't forget something? I don't think so. Anyway, I got this to keep on hand. Some Totino's pizzas, that'll be for lunches, quick dinners, and possibly one or two of those will be for appetizer night too. I'll just cut them into little squares so each person could get that. Got some more strawberry jam, the kids like that, and we just ran out. Whatever this is, cane sugar. Brian was almost out of that, so I got that for him. Street tacos, that'll be for taco night. This was a substitute. I ordered slider buns. They didn't have it, so they gave me this. Hamburgers and hot dogs is on the menu for one day. And that's why we have hot dog buns, too. I have hot dogs in the freezer. I thought this was going to be bigger than many pizzas. I don't know. Maybe I need to really start reading descriptions before I put it in my cart. I thought these were going to be like normal size pizzas. These are mini, but you get two, I guess. Yeah. So that'll be lunch one day. This was a substitute. I ordered just the regular cheddar cheese soups, but they gave me the healthy request. I don't know the difference, so I just accepted that. Some honey to put back in our stockpile pantry. I totally have been craving banana pudding, too. Went ahead and got this this time. Two weeks ago, I think I got one. It was not good. So, if you saw that haul, don't waste your money, because it was not good. I needed some lime juice for the avocados I have. Callie likes... Um, smashed avocados or whatever guacamole with this stuff this was an Ibotta deal I'm pretty sure I got 50 cents back per box so the limit was five so I got five yeah and that'll go back in our stockpile pantry I got a French baguette and that is for the French onion soup I have I think I got money back on this too I got this for taco night I know um Brian doesn't really eat tacos, but I'm going to make some barbecue chicken for him and then have he can dip some tortillas or something in that. Almond bark. We've got chocolate and vanilla. That'll be for some dipped pretzels, and that's why I got these sprinkles as well. So that is it for Walmart, and I'll show you Aldi next. Okay, here's Aldi, and I spent $104 today. We'll just start over here. These peppermints for this big tub was five, like $5, I think, or just, 
I don't know, it's under six. I know that because Walmart has these and they're like eight or nine dollars. So I love these things. Like seriously addictive for me. I don't know if it's a texture thing. I don't know. But Brian got those for me. Uh, we needed some diapers. Got those. I like to have these mini cookies on hand. The kids like them. The, twi the twins really like them. So for treats or whatever to, or to get them to quit screaming. <laughs> I'm just kidding, sort of. So we got those. I got them, the kids, some um, mini peanut butter crackers and some more um, fruit bars. They like those are hit or miss. Sometimes they like them, sometimes they don't. Tater tots and French fries. We got those, and also some broccoli. We're gonna have Alfredo one night, so broccoli is gonna be the side for that. I got some toasted ravioli. Um, I thought that would make good lunches, so I got that. And then some bananas. The twins love bananas. Callie, of course, needed some more smoothies. She has one of those almost every night. Two dozen eggs. And then some more butter. Like I, I had mentioned before, I'm going to try and get at least one pack of butter each time I go, just so I have enough to last me through the rest of the baking season. Um, we still have Thanksgiving pies left, so I won't be baking probably this coming up week, the week you're watching this, but probably the week after I'll start our Christmas cookies and stuff like that. Um, Callie loves these white cheddar Cheez-Its, so we got her those. Those are the Aldi brand. She likes those too. I saw this. Woo! And I almost lost it. Woo, glass jar. Let's, careful, Katie. I still have some Thanksgiving leftovers, and I was all out of this turkey gravy, and I like that on my stuffing, so I went ahead and just got a jar for that. Um, carrots and peas, that will be to make dog food with. Some cream of chicken, needed that for a recipe. Evaporated milk, that's to go back in the pantry, um, and for some recipes, probably I'll be using for holiday banking. I also got this to have on hand just in case I do decide to make homemade peppermint patties. I don't know that I will. I want to. But I will also be the only one who eats it. And I don't really need a whole pan of peppermint patties. So, we'll see. If not, I'm sure you can make something else with that. Apple juice and orange juice for the kids. Um... These pita pockets, not all the... I think these are like a special buy. They have sausage, egg, and th cheese, I think, and egg and cheese. Brian and Callie really like the egg and cheese ones. I'm not sure if the twins do. I'm going to try them on it, but these are actually pretty good. They don't always have them, so when they do, Brian likes to get those. And I think they might have been on sale or something, too. So that's why he got two boxes. Um, Some of this five cheese Texas toast. This is actually pretty good. That'll be for... Alfredo. I forgot I got these at um, Walmart, so I got another box of these. That's okay, though. Those will just stay in my my pantry or whatever for, for when I need them. These goldfish. I was actually kind of sad about this. I had ordered at Walmart the great, big, huge box of goldfish. Because they're on rollback right now for under $7. They're normally almost $9. But they didn't have them. And of course, you know, Callie really wants them. She really likes the goldfish. And she loves the flavor blasted ones. So I told her I'd get her some at Aldi. This bag was $4. So I was kind of sad about it. But I had already told her I'd get them. So I'm going to try and get the box. The big box. Hopefully it's still on rollback next week. And uh, just keep that, you know, on hand or whatever when these are run run out. Because it's only, you know, six eighty eight compared to 4 it's A bunch of chocolate chips. Two milk chocolate, two semi-sweet. That'll be for holiday baking. I got a salad and it was 50% off. So, I don't really, I don't like Caesar dressing. So, I don't use a dressing. But I have my own uh, ranch at home. Some grapes. Brian picked those up. I picked up some more mini cucumbers. Callie snuck those in the cart. Not that we need them. Like I said, we still have pies. I, 
wasn't planning on buying a whole lot of sweets today, but I, I'm not going to lie. I saw her put them in the cart and I didn't say anything. So she's not at fault if nobody can be mad because mom didn't say no. Um, bread. We need bread. And then two gallons of milk. So that's it. $104. Spent way too much this week. Next week I'm going to try and rain it back, but we'll see because I still need to get like stocking stuffers and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see what I can do. I'll try and be a little bit more better. I don't know. Does Anyways. Yeah. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this haul and all of my rambling. Um, again, I hope that you had a really good Thanksgiving and were able to spend it with your family. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye, friends.